and welcome back to Ganesh Institute. So in today's video we are taking up another topic from linear algebra and that is Jordan canonical form. I'm sure that you must have heard about it and you must have watched my another video on JC form. If not then you can watch uh, it, the link is in the description okay. So what is a Jordan canonical form? Before going ahead we should know what is a Jordan block. So a Jordan block has eigenvalues in its main diagonal then all other elements on the upper side of the principal diagonal have one as its elements and then rest all other entries are zero. So what does it mean? When we say these three features or properties then this is a kind of this matrix where all the values in the diagonal are eigenvalues then all the elements so if you see this is first row right this is second row third row fourth and fifth row all the elements upper on the upper side of the principal diagonal so that means this one this one this one and this one are one and then list all elements are zero okay rest all elements are zero getting my point so principal diagonal has eigenvalues the element next to it on the upper side of the principal diagonal entries are one and rest all values are zero okay now how do we solve it we need to see we have to first find out jordan block and the matrix which uh, which will be having Jordan block as its principal diagonal will be the Jordan matrix. Okay, so let's see how we can form. Maybe we can try having an example here. If we have to find out a Jordan canonical form, okay, and we have two things one is characteristic polynomial, and another one is minimal polynomial. We have heard about both of the things when we talked about eigenvalues, right? So, if question is asked, how many Jordan form can be possible? And you have to find out Jordan blocks also. How will you do that? So, remember, whatever is, is given to you in the form of characteristic polynomial, the power of it can be considered as P. And in the minimum polynomial, minimal polynomial, the power can be considered as Q, okay? Just to remember and to know about some of the theorems or steps which can be applied here, okay? Now, remember all the time that this Q is always less than or equal to P. Obviously, you can see this is 5, this is 2. Because minimal polynomial has been taken from characteristic polynomial itself, so its value will be will always be lesser right now what you need to do in order to find out jordan block first find out possible jordan blocks okay and for that you have p here as 5 right q is 2 you always have to start with q that is the power of the character uh, minimal polynomial okay so start with 2. Now what you need to do, you have to split it. I mean split the power of the characteristic polynomial 5 as the sum of Q or the lesser values. Okay. So let's say I have 2. I can repeat it again. Still to make 5, I have one more to go. Right. So this is one Jordan block where you can see the sum is 5. Then what can be done? Is there any other possibility? So let's start with Q again. Can I consider this 2 and split it into 1 and 1? And this one can be considered here. So this is another Jordan block. Okay. So I have got two Jordan blocks. I have already mentioned what are Jordan blocks. You have to write 
the eigenvalues in the diagonal, principal diagonal form, right? Okay, what is the eigenvalue here? If characteristic polynomial is this, so obviously this is a minus lambda, right? This is the form of characteristic polynomial and lambda is the eigenvalue. So here eigenvalue is 4, correct? So what you need to do, these are the possible Jordan blocks, right? So you have to make 2 by 2 order matrix, 2 by 2 order Jordan matrix and 1 having one element. Then 2 by 2, 1 element, 1 element, 1 element, okay? And what are these elements? Their principal diagonal values will always be eigenvalues, okay? So first is 2, 2 by 2 order. Then another one is again 2 by 2 order. And this is 1, that is only one element. Here, another Jordan block, 2 by 2 order. Then 1, 1 and 1. Okay, so this is 1, 1 element, 1 element block. So what are Jordan blocks? Di principal diagonal element will be eigenvalues. What is eigenvalue? 4. Okay, so I'm writing 4 and 4 in the principal diagonal values. Okay, this is one element, so I'm keeping it 4 only. Here also, diagonal uh, value will be having 4. Then these are only one element matrices, so 1. So, 4. Now, in order to make a Jordan block, what I'm supposed to do? The elements on the upper side of this diagonal will be 1 and the lower side all the rest entries will be 0 right so this will be 1 this is 0 this will be 1 this is 0 that is it so this is one Jordan block you can see this is another Jordan block now in the Jordan block also we have how many sub blocks so if you see in the first Jordan block I have one, two, three sub blocks. And here in this sub block, I, in this Jordan block, one, two, three, four. So overall, this polynomial is having how many Jordan blocks? Two Jordan blocks. And how many sub blocks? Seven sub blocks. I'm hoping you've got it. And if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.